morning, Kathy. <laughs> I always like to turn on the camera when Kathy's not fully prepared because then you get the real Kathy. You don't get like a, a um, cause Kathy comes in, in a lot of variations. There is a uh, semi-sweet Kathy. There is dark chocolate Kathy, caffeinated Kathy. And now, now there's annoyed Kathy. Exactly. Yeah, pretty Which much. Which is most of the time. Which is <laughs> most of the time. Uh, where are we going? What are we doing today? I don't know. Good. I'm just along for the ride. Fantastic. Uh, we are enjoying the drive up PCH going northbound and we're in the Chevy Colorado. It's a little silvery this morning. We're gonna go get some coffee and then we're heading up to the Murphy Museum because David Neal, which you guys know, uh, the extraordinary five foot 18 David Neal is giving me another car to drive. Uh, I'm not gonna destroy my description of it because I don't know exactly what it is. I know it's a Jeep, a classic Jeep, but I don't know much more than that. And we're gonna come back and we're gonna walk up into town and, and spend today's Memorial Day. So we're gonna spend the day just kind of relaxing and enjoy the day like you guys. Hopefully that's what you're doing. Part of the truck, Kathy, this 2018 Chevy Colorado ZR2. I like it all. Just the whole, everything? Oh no, there's one, well, you said favorite part, so right. there's one thing I don't like, but uh, since it's not a favorite, I can't say. Um, I just like that it's big. <laughs> it is big. Uh, we just pulled off the road, as you guys saw, and hit into the sand. No big deal. Four wheel drive. Piece of cake. What's the one thing you don't like? Just out of curiosity. That tire in the back. You literally had to put right. my surfboard sideways yesterday. Yeah. That's, I don't know. There's a big tire that's in the back. <laughs> uh, it looks really cool. That's a plus, but it's not necessarily that practical because you, you're you using uh, pretty much your whole bed for that tire. Yeah. And you can't fit Kathy's surfboard, so. But we, we can get it without the tire, okay? We'll save it somewhere else. Yeah, and that bracket. You ought to have the whole thing removed. Okay. Okay. If you say so. I personally like the exterior design because it's very aggressive, almost like you're driving big. a and big. And, yeah, and big, uh, like a Baja truck. So it's it definitely wants to go off road. Uh, it's a little bit long versus the Jeep, which is something I would probably probably prefer a little bit more. Turning radius is not that great because it's uh, it's so long. But it feels really good. It's uh, got great ergonomics, great exterior design.
Mm-hmm. Oh, looks good. It's a Jeep. <laughs> so it has the CJ front end. Every kid, you know, in America remembers the mailman running around in one of these things with this front end. So right. the front end is is what sells Jeeps. But this is a derivative of the CJ called the Jeepster Commando, and it came out in the late 60s. This one is a 1969, and it was designed to compete against the Ford Bronco. And they ran this car, this body style, until 1973, and then they introduced the uh, Jeep Cherokee. So this is a three-speed V6, four-wheel drive, very rugged. Uh, it just makes you want to get a picnic lunch and go out and have a picnic somewhere. I know what I'm going to do this week. And the tires are new, so when this thing goes down the road, it makes the proper wah 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 sound when you're going down the road. Super cool. So if I were you guys, I would totally run with the windows down, go get coffee every morning, go to the beach, <laughs> put the dogs in the back, and just have a great time because this is a this is a Southern California food. This is an old school GPS. It's called a compass. N means north, S means south. Uh, very, very accurate. Yeah. But uh, bring a map anyway, just in case. <laughs>
feel like the Malibu hillbillies. <laughs>